All right, what's up, guys? It's Theo from Fit Me Up and Hardcore Training, and I got my little man Gio here. Gio, wave hi to the camera. Wave hi. hi. This is my little man Gio. He's gonna help me out today. We're just gonna show you what exactly is in a can of pop. I want you to know that I used to drink pop all the time, and it actually used to be the only thing I drank. And so I've been there and I've done that, and I learned uh, this visual a long time ago. It kind of put things into perspective about exactly what's in it. So we're gonna show you how much sugar is in a can of pop. And Gio, Gio, you're gonna help me out, buddy. So one can of pop has exact, it, it's about 10 to um, 12 teaspoons of sugar, depending on what sources you look at. 10 to teaspoons of sugar in one can of pop. Now, Gio, come here. Come here. You're gonna show, you're gonna bring your books? Okay, I want you to put 10 teaspoons of sugar in this cup. You know how to count to 10? Two. Two. Gio's two years old, by the way. It's never too early to start teaching our kids all about this kinds of stuff. All right, ready? You're going to put, put sugar in here. Okay? Go ahead, use a spoon. Use a spoon. So Gio's going to do that. Now, I already did it, so I'll give you a visual while he's working hard. If you can see this cup, that's about 10 teaspoons of sugar. So this is what you're putting in your body every time you drink one of these. You would think I was crazy if I gave this to Jill right now and told him to drink it, wouldn't you? So it's something to think about next time you go to put a pop in your body. And I want you guys to know, too, you're doing a good job, buddy. I want you guys to know, too, that it's not easy to give up. When I first started uh, reducing my pop intake, it took a long time. I went from, you know, honestly, I was drinking about six cans of pop a day easily. And I went down to one a day one every other day, once a week, you know, eventually to the point where I was only drinking one every once in a while. So it's not easy. It is an addiction and it's hard to break. And I want you to know too that it's not that you can never drink a pop again. You just don't want to be doing it all the time. Do not be consuming this stuff on a regular basis every day. Make it a special occasion. Every now and then it's okay to have one. It's not going to hurt you. Um, but if you're, if you're one of those people that love to have a 32 ounce pop from Speedway or from the, the fast food restaurant. Just be careful and think about what you're putting in your body. This gives you that visual and helps create that negative association with it so that when you go to drink it, you, you realize exactly how nasty it really is. So that's your uh, tip of the week is think about how much sugar is actually in a can of pop, what it's going to do to your body, how it's gonna mess up your teeth, your insides, and hopefully that will help you reduce or eliminate it from your diet completely. All right. So that's my little man Gio helping us out with the uh, tip of the week. You guys have a fantastic week. Keep pushing it, keep living it, keep being it. Say bye-bye, Gio.